What's up everyone, this is Olitakas Tech, and I am back with another dock glitch. So I found another glitch in iOS to help you remove the dock in the latest iOS 11 beta. Let's get started. So both these methods I have found and created, so I'm going to be showing you two methods in this video in case the first one doesn't work or if you're on an older version of iOS. So hopefully this will work for you, but so far the best method I'm about to show, I've only tested on iOS 11.2 beta 1, so I don't know if it works on anything else, but if it does, let me know down below in the comments. But I know that the other method I show will definitely work, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be at the end of this video, so make sure you watch the full video. So this glitch is very, 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 very tedious to get. I Oh my gosh, it's so annoying to actually get this glitch to work. But before we do that, thank you so much. We're almost at 6,500 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. So yeah, so the widget panel is kind of relevant for this glitch. That's pretty much where all the dock glitches happen. So what you're going to need to do is go to the widget panel on your iOS device. And before we get started, I just want to show you how many times I tried this. So I was sort of trying to figure it out myself because I sort of forgot. What you want to do is go to the widget panel, click the home button, and then swipe up and then tap the screen. I know it looks kind of weird, but I'm going to be showing you this multiple times. Just so that way, if I don't do a good job explaining it, you can see it multiple times. But you can see that the animations also change as well. And the dock stays gone when you enter apps and stuff like that. So what you want to do is go to the widget panel swipe down and as you swipe down click the home button and swipe down again so it's kind of strange so what you want to do is swipe down and as you swipe click the home button and then swipe again while that animation is happening and then you just tap to release the spotlight search and then you can see that the dock is gone now the dock does reappear once you go to the widget panel so swipe down swipe back up click the home button and you can see that's what happens so swipe down click the home button, swipe back up, that also works, and you can see that the animations have changed. So sometimes it will cause you to reboot your iOS device, but once you get it, you should be good to go. So this next glitch is going to be showing you how to remove the dock as well, but it's not as cool because you can't use it with any wallpaper. You have to use this glitch with the specific wallpapers, that's what I don't like about it, but luckily I'm the creator of this wallpaper. I made it myself because I created it myself, but basically what you can do is go ahead and save this wallpaper by clicking the link in the description. Go ahead and tap on set both. now. Once you do that, you're just going to see that this wallpaper, you know, there's nothing cool about it. But what you want to do is go to settings, general, accessibility, and once you're in here, you want to tap on increase contrast, and then tap on reduce transparency, and then boom, you can see the dock has disappeared. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is that the whole phone's gray. But the good thing about this is that sometimes everything is gray. So it can be good and bad depending on how you look at it. So the control center, the volume button, pretty much everything is gray. So if you like having a constant gray look throughout your iOS device, this can be pretty good for that. I would rather this be black just because black looks more stealthy and it matches my phone. I think that would look so cool, especially on an AMOLED screen. That's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this works for you. And as always, peace.